I'm listening to Rush. He's on the air. I've got him on satellite right over here. Listening to Rush on the EIB network right now. Right now, I am listening to Rush. Rush Limbaugh, spot on. I'm one Sir Grove. This is C4CW casting 495 celebrities worldwide. Shout outs to Rush Limbaugh. Always on point. So right now, what Rush is talking about as we speak, that is you, the audience, fans, supporters. Thank you, too, by the way, for tuning in. If you're true fans, then I, we, 495, most certainly appreciate you. If you're not true fans, well, hey, maybe some other show, man, is uh, is better than this one in your opinion, which you're entitled to. But in terms of our true fans here, C4CW fans, Rush Limbaugh, again, expert intel spot on. What he is talking about, whilst I podcast here, is he's saying on his show right now that the work that Donald Trump... Police reported ahead. The work that Donald Trump and the Donald Trump administration have done to stimulate the economy, it's irrefutable. And that is one of the reasons why the Dems are scrambling because they're looking around and see they're looking around and they're seeing the landscape and it is it is unavoidable it is it is un it is it is absolutely incontrovertible it cannot be refuted it cannot be denied it is undeniable unarguable undoubtedly the economy is as rush limbaugh said himself quote Roaring. It's a roaring economy. Roaring. And he also went on to talk about how black men in America are more employed as a result of the Donald Trump administration stimulating the economy under the Trump administration than ever before. Ever before. Ever before. Black men, black African American. Men, more so employed than ever before as a result of what Donald Trump has done to stimulate the U.S. American and, as an effect, nationwide ripple effect crossing borders globally, the global economy. That's right. And so the Dem Socialists, they cannot argue against that. They have no argument. It does not compute if they even try. And that is causing the socialist Dems to panic. They are panicking. They are desperate. They are they are <laughs> absolutely last ditch effort. Panicky. Panicking. Yes, they are panicky. Because what can they do now other than what small children do? Make up tall tales. Make up stories. Make believe time. Nancy Pelosi's game is over. Schiff's game is over. It's coming to a close. They are done. They're has-beens. They're washed up bum ass politicians. Nancy Pelosi is such a mess. She's all over herself. She can barely even enunciate and articulate her her jabberwocky, her her gobbledygook. Her fucking absolute total goddamn nonsense. She's so nonsensical. I was listening to Chris Plant this morning before Rush Limbaugh. Nancy Pelosi is, she's a fucking train wreck. She's a, man, she, she, she's one talking point after another. Because like Chris Plant so expertly pointed out in in the intel analysis of it all, the way he put it into focus and an absolute laser precision coherent, precise perspective focus. He said, all her brain can do is go to talking points. She can't even answer fucking questions. Not, not really. So when she was asked, and this is what Chris Plant was talking about, when she was asked if she hates Donald Trump, rather than answer the question, she, she, she danced around it. She danced around it. Her, her response was elliptical. She claimed that she prays for Donald Trump. You know, she's a fuck. She's so fucking fake. She's such a guy. All she's doing is is showing the world how pathological and sick she is. How despicable 
of a wicked, heinous, wicked witch. She is. Hillary Clinton is. They're just wicked, despicable, disgusting people. They really are. Nancy Pelosi is a wicked, heinous, disgusting, obscene, train wreck mess of not just a human being, but a fucking bum ass politician who has overstayed her time in government and she just makes up one fucking pathological lie after another. Now, I know what you're saying, Grove, a lot of politicians do that. Well, she's the epitome of that. She, she is the unequivocal trash politician, just garbage politician who's so bum, skid row bum, washed up, too long in fucking government, just miserable human being, just a miserable garbage, train wreck, trash, shit, fucking stain on America, and she can barely even do anything anymore in government. No, she hasn't really done shit anyway. But man, she just goes to these fucking ludicrous, totally in... Watch out. Vehicle stops totally, on shoulder ahead. Totally fucking just nonsense talking points. She she talks around issues. She talks around questions. She, she Her responses are just show... Every time she responds to some shit, it just further reinforces what smart people know, which is that she's she's a washed up bum ass politician. And man, a year from now, I mean, we're talking ten times worse if she's if she's even still in government, if she hasn't been physically removed by higher authorities in the US government. She can't, she can barely even fucking respond to simple questions. She's so fucked up. And her stupid ass daughter, she'll butt, she said, my mom, she'll butt your head off. Uh, she doesn't have the capability of doing that. It just shows how, how stupid these people are. Joe Biden, I heard Joe Biden's response to someone who asked him a simple question. And he was talking about, come on, man, it's this push up. You know, so, what is that? You know Joe, Joe Biden, his son is a crackhead. Hunter Biden is a fucking washed up bum ass fucking son. Joe Biden, man, he sounds like he's on dope too, man. That dude is a, they're, they're all washed up bums, man. They're washed up bum ass politicians in America. And a lot of Americans are fed up and sick and tired of this Obama administration carryover, holdover, residual, sludge, cesspool, toxic, fucking parasitic shit stains on America. These people are the worst kind of human beings that there are. And back to Rush Limbaugh. Chris Plant got it right, as he always does. Rush got it right, as he always does. The Dems have nothing left. They have absolutely nothing left. The radical arm of the Socialist Dem Party has run its course in America. Doesn't have anything left, man. It doesn't have any fucking power. It doesn't have shit. It is just shit. Okay? And that shit is a shit stench. Shit stench. It is a shit stench stain in the middle of the fucking road highway with flies collecting fucking maggots. And it's, man, ultimately just turning to dust. Just dissipated, man. They don't have shit left. 